guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to a match where i challenged another scratch golfer which some of you guys know henry oh. gorilla low grillo grillo henry <laughs> henry grillo you guys have seen him on grant's channel he's one of grant's best friends and he's a very good golfer he caddied for grant in a couple tournaments and he just I, I was like you know what i think this would be a really good match so i shot him a text and i was like you want to play and he was like you know what i think i do so here we are, we're at Bandy K today. Welcome to the channel, Henry, for the first time. I know, this is exciting. It's when gonna be fun. you sent me that text last night, I was like, oh man, he's just trying to pull a quick one on me. No warm up, no nothing. He just wants to get me when I'm cold. And Hey, we'll see what happens today. I'm feeling good. Nothing but now. here we are, we're at Bandy K, 18 holes, stroke play. I haven't done this ever, actually, I think, on the channel where I play a match for 18 holes. So shout out to you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I am on my way to 500,000. I'm still trying to get there before the end of August. My birthday is at the end of August, so it's kind of like a birthday present I'm working really hard for. So subscribe to the channel and uh, let's play some good golf today. Oh man, calls me up last night. You wanna do a match? Sure. Wants an easy win, he thinks. Let's go. Guys, the official tee of Michael Morse Golf, the tour tee. Um, here we go, we're gonna take a, we're gonna do a flip here so he goes first. This is my first ever tee flip. Yeah, ever. exactly. I've never done a tee flip in my life and I'm all for one. Yeah. So that's beautiful. That's me. We have made it to the first tee here at Banyan K. It is a bit of a shorter hole. Henry, I think, has two iron, and I have four iron, but this usually kind of gives you a wedge in, which is what I'm what I'm looking for today. Don't go in that bunker. Should be short of it. Yeah. All right. In the fairway, you got to kind of have a full wedge on this because in on this hole because anything if you're too close and the pins in the front you cannot stop it close so that's a good start for me yeah that's right on the same line as mine it's a little left oh that's perfectly fine oh uh, did bunker? that roll in the bunker did it i don't know it's gonna be close we got cameraman saying it didn't but we're off like a herd of turtles here. I think this is going to be a good day. Me and Henry both got like, we're both very competitive, but we're also not going to be the guys that are yelling in the camera, you know, but. But at the end of the day, I'm looking to win, so. Uh, I'm, I'm not here to lose. I could, I mean, I could feel the nerves from you there on the, on the first tee. I was, I was a little nervous for you. I played golf on Grant's channel twice before, but that was like well over a year ago now. Camera adds how many strokes? They say it adds about 3.5. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. 113, a little into the fan. Is that a full 50? I think that's just a nice full 54. I mean, you say it's a good number, and then you're like, I think it's this club. Hey. Is it a good number? It's all about the head games, Henry. <laughs> oh, it's a great number. It just is a little right. Birdie putt on the first. Pin high. It's always closer than it looks. Some might say this is a little better angle. A little better angle off the down slope, huh? Mm-hmm. I would have switched balls with you, Tig. Let's not sugarcoat it. I don't want to switch balls with you. Kind of between a 50 degree and a pitching wedge. Pretty heavy into the wind. I think I'm going to go pretty smooth pitching wedge. Oh, that is a great looking shot. All right, take that. That's a nice swing there, bud. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, that was really good. Practice ball from the range. Yeah. Get out of here. You got a tee, Tig? Yeah. Look at this guy. Off the first tee, don't even have his own tees yet. Oh, the tour tee to fix it. Tour tee slash divot fixer, 15% off. Click the link in the description. Guys, before we get back to this video, I'm excited to announce that it's brought to you by Olukai. Olukai is a Hawaiian inspired brand that combines comfort and durability, whether you're playing golf, pickleball, or any other sport, or if you're just into the boating lifestyle. And the really cool thing about this brand is Olukai is dedicated to quality and durability in everything they do. It's even in their name. Olukai is translated into comfort ocean. And one of the things that I love about these shoes is, is I love being barefoot and these shoes straight out of the box form to your feet so that it's guaranteed all day comfort. And I've been wearing the Kappa Lewis for like three rounds now and I've not had any complaints. And then one other cool thing about these shoes is they actually have a built-in flap on the back that slides down, so it's easy access, it's easy in and out. Olakai also gives back. A portion of all proceeds goes directly to the Ama Olakai Foundation that supports and gives back to those who preserve the Hawaiian culture. 
So right now, click the link in the description, go over to olakai.com, find your pair of shoes that you like and get free shipping through that link. So let's get right back to today's video. I had the right line. Just need to hit it, man. You're always coming up short because I'm breaking a little bit to my left. Hmm, that's a good putt. Want to hit him with a little good, good action here on the first hole? Yeah, let's do it. Both even par after one, onto a par three. Holy crap, this is straight into. I think I'm gonna have to hit seven. I was about to say, there's no way you're about to rip eight right now. Henry, I'm calm five. down, Henry. I'm thinking five. I'm gonna I'm gonna say a 185 shot. Yeah, so it's a nice just a nice little seven iron. Here we go, par three, hole number two, 175. Oh, that's the perfect number. Don't be in the bunker. Is that in the bunker? That was really a lot to ask for to try to get it to cut up against that wind. It's just too great. It was just a large audience, you know, right over there with the turtle. He was watching you the whole time. Look at him go. I'm hitting five iron. That's why when you hit, I mean, look, if you took eight there, I'm not pulling five. But since you took seven, <laughs> I can hit five. Oh, boy. That is, that, this actually might go in the hole. Woo! Come on, Tig! Wow. Let's go! That is, that is insanely impressive with that water right there, just a fire right at that pin. Forget the water, what about the mic and the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob behind the camera got me two towels because I sweat a lot. We're not even two holes in. I've already left one on a tee box, so. I feel bad whoever has to wash these towels. I stayed out of the bunker, so this is actually a standard chip shot for most people. Unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Clean this up for par, get onto the hole number That's three. good, that's good. All right, so the, any hole, anytime you make a par on this hole, it feels good because according to 18 birdies, you're gaining strokes on this hole because it's it's pretty hard, hard par three. Wow, that's such a good putt. Just so confident in with just speed too. That's We're not awesome. forgetting this towel. This towel's gonna be my savior today. All right, Tig. Good birdie. Thank you. Thanks, Even sir. to one under after two holes. See that? Look what I'm rocking today. See that one? See the, see the little, see the options you got here? Check them out. Click the link in the description. It's a, it's a new business we started. <laughs> you ever seen a girl like trying to flare their hair? Like what I think when I see that. <laughs> You're picking up a couple on the field with that birdie. Yeah, that felt good. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I appreciate that. I, I mean, I, it doesn't feel good to get lied. Feel good to get lied to. No. <laughs> on to three. This is a. This is actually one of the. I think it's on the scorecard. One of the hardest hold, harder holes on the course. But I mean, probably both hit and driver, right? All right. Hole three. Whoa. Hole three. Hole number three. Henry has honors. Driver. I'm gonna take it right over this. Kind of right over the 150 stake, honestly. And I plan on being past that. If I'm not, then that was a very poor drive for me. I mean, that 150 is like. 220 yards away, so I think you're going past that. <laughs> Holy butternut squash. That tee pickup was mighty aggressive, too. Yeah, I felt good. There's just some golf swings that you just look at and you're like, that's a really good golf swing. Grant Horvat has one of those swings and Henry Grillo. It's like grill and then with a little O oh on the end. It's just something about that Palm Beach County water. Oh, frick, frickin' frick. That is getting so far away from the hole every second. All right, well, it's in play, but it shouldn't be as bad as I hit that. Yeah. That's 200 yards from the hole, probably. All right, we calculated Tig's got about 150. Had to do the addition for him, but, you know, that's over and out. <laughs> <laughs> over and out, huh? Sounds like something my grandpa used to say. I think if I play this 160 with that wind, it should be okay. And I can't get an eight iron over that tree, so I'm going nine. Oh my goodness. I mean, it should be putting. 
The cobalt rangefinder, the best rangefinder in golf, shoots over two thousand yards. No, because then you know I don't I don't need it to get me to the decimal point. All right, I'm not that good enough. See you that know? building over there? Nine hundred fifty-two yards. Wow. Top of that second one, seven hundred seventy-eight. Easy. I mean, all right, we got one hundred twenty-six. I'm gonna go nine. Jacob, these are numbers that you are not used to seeing. Clubs that you are not used to seeing from this yardage, but you know when you play with me. Jokes on you. This is what I would swing. <laughs> okay. Well, you know I might go back for petrol wedge. Another great go. A little right. short. Just a little short. Didn't, That's it. didn't hit it good at all, but we're putting. Three green in, in rags for me. First yes, three holes. Yeah, it's it's too it's hot on my butt. That leather seat. Yeah. Birdie putt. Incoming. It's pretty good speed there. Yeah, no, it's not bad. This really is reminding me of the putt on the first hole I had. Pretty much the same distance, breaking to the left. No. No, no, no. It's right on top of each other. Good putt. Nice four. Par, par, par for me. Par birdie, par for Henry. He remains one up on hole number four. You're telling me you know what the word proctor is, but you can't add 122 and 28? Well, I had it. You just said it quicker than I did. Like, I already knew the answer, but it just took, it was still getting from my, no, 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 my, no. it was getting from my brain to my mouth. That face that you gave me, there's no way you knew the answer. I, all right. Like, I can literally tell you, you say any two numbers right now. All right, 43 and 85. 43 and yeah. 85, 113. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, nope, it's 120. It's 43 and 85 is 128. Yes. Give him another one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 74 and 86. 74 and 86? Yeah. Hey, you know, you know it's bad. <laughs> he repeats it. Wait, 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 wait. You said 74 and 86. It's uh, it's uh, 60, 160. There you go. All right. All right. On the whole number four. Yeah. Taking the edge off. I could use a big old five gallon bucket of coffee right now. I don't drink coffee. You are missing out on one of the world's finest experiences, my friend. I mean, your diet consists of like what? Ground beef, salt, water, and coffee? <laughs> hey, when, in two holes from now, when we reach the freaking Gatorade station, I'm going to show you what a good drink is, all right? I spun it. Might catch the top of the tree. No, I don't think you did. I didn't hear it. You do that again, it's kind of hot out here. Felt the wind on your driver. So oh, yeah. That's why. I'm telling you, your center of gravity is going to be off here in a second when I start swinging hard. Oh, my gosh. Take the route of least resistance. I think you're actually going to be fine. I mean, it's in the fairway over there, but I absolutely hate that I'm missing that so bad right now. Got 120 yards here. Just caught the right edge of this fairway. 119. <laughs> That might be an eight iron. <laughs> oh man, so funny. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go pitching wedge, 120. Be right. Why not? Let's go. Tig's annoyed right now because he's thinking he, he woke up to an easy matchup. No, I'm at, no, I'm not. That's a great shot. You can't let them off too easy. I ended up in a pretty good position over here. I got 76 yards, a little into. I'm gonna play it about 75, and it should just drop right on it. Sit. Great shot. Okay. I have honors here. Do you call it honors when you're away on the hole? Isn't that a tee box term? Here. I mean, if you think it's an honor to be away from the hole, you can have the honors all day. I'm going first here, Henry. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. It's a good pot. Thanks. Another par, creeping along. Stay steady, stay patient. All right, we got like 10 feet down the hill. I'm gonna go left edge. I think it's just gonna fall to the right. Oh my gosh, dude. Right at the end, literally the last six inches, that <sighs> thing just dipped. Dude, that was I'm gonna give him that one. He's not missing that one. That was the best part of the day. Score remains the same. On to another par three. 
What do you got? What are you hitting, Tag? I got six. Are you kidding me? I'm hitting, I'm hitting an eight. I mean, I hit five when you hit seven on the second hole. Why are you so surprised? Come on, Tag. All right, full six iron here. Sweaty hands on that one. Oh my gosh. Wow, that carried everything. I'm not kidding, my hands like freaking slipped and I straight pulled that shot. It's all right though, we'll be fine. I'm hitting seven. Crap. Eight was never an option. Classic, trying to get in my head, yeah. so funny. I think this is a really good number. I think it's about a 185. Good shot. I'm glad I hit that and not six iron. Not six iron? You're hitting it. You don't even have eight in your hand on the tee box? Oh my gosh. Went way long there. Wow. I can't fathom that. I I guess I could have gotten seven there, but. All right, going upstairs with it. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, it got fringe boosted. It actually did. That's close to five feet though. All right, I got another birdie putt. It's kind of downhill the second half, maybe a little quick. 27 feet. That's good. Thanks. Good pot. I got sweat dripping from my hat onto my ball right now. So the hat's coming off for a second. Oh, that's a great up and down. Thank you. When he first hit it, I think he thought that he may have missed it. Henry still remains one up after five holes. Hole number six. Um, this is kind of a, a shorter little hole here, but I'm gonna hit four iron. I want to hit it about 240. It gives you a wedge in, but I'm gonna go just to the right of those cart path signs out there, or the cart path only signs. Good ball, right? Thanks. Yep, that's exactly what I was trying to do. Hold two iron for hen dog. Yep. That's really good. Push to the hair. It's good. Good shot. Thank you. It's 125. I think it's just a perfect 50 degree. I mean, 125. I'm gonna. I'm gonna think 125. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Do you have 50 degree there? Yeah, like about as soft as you can hit a 50 degree without the ball just going nowhere. All right, I'm trusting the 117. I just, I, like I said, I told you this was gonna happen. Hey, shout out Cobalt Golf for that yardage. All right, I'm just out here. Got about nine feet, Henry's got about seven. Kind of a good opportunity to see if I can convert here. Oh my gosh. That is okay. so unfortunate. Oh man, that's so bad. Gosh, man. That's a tough miss for both of us. That's I really mean, bad. Henry, did you just push yours? Cause that, yeah, I mean, no, you kinda I missed pushed, the hole. No, that was yeah. a bad pot. Onto our first par five of the day, we got two back to backs. We could see some real movement in the leaderboard here. I mean, we could see movement off the tee from Micah. <laughs> I think some of you guys will probably remember this hole, but it goes a little bit to the right. I'm gonna try to start one left and let it ride the wind down there and hopefully give me about 168 yards in. That's actually gonna be so insanely good. I think I can maybe count on one hand the amount of people on planet Earth that can pull off that ball flight. And Micah might count for two of those five. All right, we got driver going right over the bunker. Yeah, that's really good. Cut the corner. That should be good. What do you think about when you hit driver? I really only have one thought with all my clubs in my bag. It's literally just, it's getting my weight to my right side, going back, and making sure I'd impact most of my weights on my left side. Mm, yeah. That's all I think about on almost every shot. I guarantee you that just helps some people. 195 dead downwind, 174 is the force carry. Water long, water short. I'm feeling six irons the club. Go. Oh, that's got enough. Go, go. Go, go, go. 
landed in the bank. Yeah, I mean, it's up I because it didn't bounce down, so it's no. probably going to be... I mean, you're just going to have a little bump and run. <sighs> 172? What a great number this is. This guy is checking his phone for the win. Throw up some grass and look which way it goes. Are you kidding me right now? You're messing me up. I can't multitask here and you're... Well, you're pulling up the compass for some reason. I don't get it. What happens if it's swirling? Does, it, does, the, does the phone update where it's like, oh, watch this? Oh, no, you gotta, look pri you gotta look at primary like direction of the wind. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Great shot. Thanks. Right here. All right, Henry's ball stayed up. It kind of got caught in the grass, but he does have he does have a shot. I mean, I don't have much of a shot other than to just send this straight up in the air, which is unfortunate because I have so much green to work with. I'd love to roll it out, but with this upslope, I got no choice. Go. Wow. All right. That's pretty nice. Good shot. I mean, I'd rather be 50 yards away almost. <laughs> eh, not really. I mean, I'd be happy with 50 yard shots there. I shouldn't say that. Yeah, I mean, you do have like eight feet for birdie, Henry. Right, so pushed it right off the jump and left it. That is so poorly played. That's, good. That's unbelievable. Let's go. Wow. Two under, two under to one under. We got two holes left on the front nine, and we're we're cruising. Um, this next hole, it can be a little tough, and it's into the wind. So stay tuned. Hole number eight, par five. This is kind of a tricky hole, but if you set yourself up, you can actually kind of go for it. You kind of want to peel something off that right side, off the left side. Right. It's into the wind, yeah. No, that's okay. Might be a little blocked out, but. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's gonna be just like a punch out four iron. You could try and get it to like within a wedge length. It's not a, that's a terrible shot. Didn't you just give a lesson, uh, a video lesson about how you hit driver? Uh, I mean, I'm ready to see those actions go into play. Yeah, that was a really good one. Wow. Finally. Wow. That's fun that was to the Best ball of the day and it came on the best hole to do it on. So that may, that may kind of, that may kind of like light a fire for me right there. That lit a fire for me. 300 yards. This is looking like a, I'm going six. You're going for it with the six iron? Yeah, six iron, 300 yards, you know. Is this how they do it? Oh, that's my guy, Seb. Shout Dude, I actually, Seb. I actually like almost broke my wrist doing that. I'm thinking actually now I, got, I might have to go five. Yeah, that'll work. Go, maybe? Should be good. I think yep. so. Good shot. You got, when you're laying up, you got to lay up strong. 265 yards here. Two I iron? Think, I think it's just a two iron, yeah. I think I'm going to kind of go right at the pin with the two iron. If it ends up a little right, it's okay. Well, I went right. Okay, get far enough right now. I overcooked that and absolutely hit it onto the ninth hole, but it should be okay. 114 into a slight breeze. It's a beautiful pitching wedge number for me. Man, this is close. This is a tight match. This is exactly what, what you like to see here on the channel. I mean, one under to two under, a lot of golf left to play. Some really solid, solid golf so far. Be right. Go, a little bit. Oh, I think uh, it's pretty good. A Just a little short? Yeah. I bet I have about 15 feet. Look at them some guns waddling up on me like that. I am uh, I'm on the right side of the pin, pin high. 57 yards, I wanna carry this about 53 and then it'll release down to the hole, so. Yeah, that was picked so perfectly and it, I mean, I'm just lucky it got all the way to the green because it hit the top of that tree. It hit like two little strands of that tree, like if, if I just somehow had been here three years earlier, that tree would have been two feet shorter and my ball would have shot over it instead of hitting it right in it. But some, for some reason in the period of time that I'm here, a 42 footer down the hill, why not just make it and get onto the next hole? Settle, hit it. Yes. I'm glad the hole got in the way, otherwise that ball might be in the neighbor's apartment complex. The way that worked out, it worked out. And so, 
sorry to that tree. Mm, great putt. I know you got I know we're playing stroke play, but I'm gonna give him that because he's not gonna miss a two footer. That ties it up through eight holes. We're on to the ninth hole and we're both two under par. Alright, driver in hand, hole nine. I'm just hitting it right at that bunker and I'm going to hit it hard. That's such a good mindset to have, honestly. Well you're when you're a power player like him, the harder you swing, the better you play. Dude, that was absolutely sent. Thanks. All right, my name's Henry Grillo, and I'm gonna hit this driver soft. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Thank you. Here, you want this? Wow, that's sick. Henry Gorilla Hole. <laughs> Lob wedge. 84 yards. Uh, I pulled it. Get right. Spin. A little bit long. Super oh, mediocre. There it comes. Off the hill a little bit. Super mediocre shot. All right, 56 yards for me. Remarkable drive, I might say. Thank might you. I, I appreciate that. See if I can take advantage of it. Finish this front nine strong. Ah, that's great. Thanks. Good shot. Maybe just to check up to, hard. Yes, yeah, go short. I picked it really nicely, but I like it. Straight uphill putt for birdie. About 18 feet down the hill. Left to right. Definitely not an easy putt. Whoa there. Great speed there. Oh, I can't complain. Yeah. Hit a good putt. All right, up the hill. I think it's moving just a little bit left. All the putts to leave short, Tig. All right, let's clean it up. Good putt. We are all square. That's some good. The front hey, nine. that's some good golf, Tig. Yeah, two, both two under, just playing solid. I mean, a lot of golf left to play. And back nine, you can shoot a low score out here on the back nine because it's very gettable. So, here we go. Tenth hole. Par five, need a big drive here and you can definitely go for it. Oh, I hit it so hard. That's exactly what I was trying to do. I was just aiming a little too far right. It just, it was so flighted and so piercing. Might work out, I might still be able to go for it. Yeah, really good, Henry. Things are heating up. All right, 191 yards, dead into the fan. <sighs> wow, yeah, this is heavy into the wind. I'm hitting four iron. Oh my goodness. Gosh, that was so pure. Jeez. Oh, Tig. We like that. That is such a good shot. It's, I mean, just eagle putt right, right off the jump on the back nine. 205. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think 220. I'm gonna hit five iron. If it comes up a little short and right, I'm okay with it. God, that thing just hit. At least it came down. I know. I can't tell you how many times I've hit those freaking palm trees, and it has it stayed up there. Down. All right, 180. I'm just going to try to get it somewhere up around front of the green. Sit down. All right. I don't know why, but I saw when that thing was curving left, I was like, oh my gosh, is it going in the water? Two trees successfully uh, connected with on this on this hole for me. And I'm still going to I'm, I'm going to get up and down and make par. This is going to be wild. 67 yards straight into the wind, just chipping away at it. Two more shots. That's all I need. Maybe one. I actually hit it significantly heavy. What an absolute just disgusting way to play a par five. Henry with an eagle putt. Could be big time here. Left to right, up the hill. Into the wind, uphill. Gonna be a slow putt. Oh, we got it there. Holy and he cow. Left some word. How did that roll out that far? I actually thought I made that putt. I hit it exactly where I wanted to. Hit a great stroke and now I got work for birdie. Big putt for me. Par putt from about 18 feet. Yeah. 
Damn. It's kind of a tough putt. I mean, it just runs away from you, surprisingly, even though it's uphill. I'm gonna start this maybe just a touch outside the right, and it should come back. Oh my gosh, dude. That's one where you just want to freaking. Oh, that. That's. Oh, weird. that that just that just grinded my gears. Yeah, that one will get under your skin. Damage control. Only lost one there, which is kind of lucky. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> A three putt from 20 feet is... That's... I'm ready to go home. <laughs> now is when it starts to become a, a game of not necessarily... It's mental because it's so hot out here and we're having to grind. The wind is starting to pick up. We got eight holes left to see what happens. That was disgusting. 200 to one under. 114 yards. Gonna go pitching wedge. Gotta just... I, I don't know. I, I need to have that TIG brain to get rid of that one. That was tough. Draw for me. Come on. All right, pin high. 114, I'm gonna go 50 degree. I'm gonna go, I think it's about 120, honestly. Go a little? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice ball. Thanks. It is just a little bit short, but I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back. 20 feet down the hill, <laughs> severely downhill, might I add. Let's just cozy it down there, give it a chance to go in, and if we make par, it's a good score. All right. I mean, what? God, that released. I am uh, not near as short as I thought it was. I thought I had 15 feet, and here I got about four. Nice bird. Thanks. Feels good to get that one back, eh? Good putt. Oh, a little bird poop in that cup. Finger stinks. A little par birdie. Gets me back to two under. Henry remains at two under onto hole number 12. You can go for it if you want to. Do you have the stones? I mean, I definitely got them. I've, I've done it before. Hole 12, 298 carry. I mean, this is just a, it's a really nice five wood, but I got to hit it perfectly. Please go. I think you're there, right? I think you're on. Either you're on or in the middle trap in the bunker. I definitely don't think you're short. It didn't splash. No, it definitely did not splash. We got the D stick. I mean, why not, right? Oh no. Oh go. no. Get big. No. That was such a mistake. All right, we can drop up there. Yeah. I'm gonna make the grindiest par that YouTube's ever seen. Henry has come back from the line in between him and the pin where we believe it crossed and he's gotten the fairway 100 yards. 100 yards downwind, nice little 54. Oh no. Please sit. Oh. That middle bunker. Golly. This is adding up. All right, here we are, Tig. Well, I'm glad that mine is in the middle bunker because I thought that it was going to be short. Um, but this is a just a cheeky little bunker shot. I think actually Henry's out just a little bit there. Oh! I mean, it's a tough one. It's not an easy shot. I got to make that putt. Just try to get it right out here, huh? Is that kind of what you did? Oh, you got it, yeah. I mean, there's no other choice. You got to just squeak it out. Not bad. Yeah, I'll take it. Feel good about this putt. That good? Yep. Oh, uh, that's bad. Unfortunate double bogey there. First over par hole of the day. Not good. All right. Yes, a wimp. I knew it was right there. Like I had my high point and everything and I just, this could have been a really good round. That is so frustrating, holy cow. That would have been a three shot hole for me, but two shot, no harm, no foul for me. I guess there's harm and foul for me. All right. All right, 13, driver in hand, just gonna take it. Essentially just a little left of the green.
Wow. That's on the green. It might be close. I That's think it's on a little the short, but... No, that is on the green, 100%. Like, that was hit well. I think with my putting right now, maybe I, if I could get to the green in one and have two putts for birdie, maybe that's a good idea. I think that's the recipe, Tig. Just drive the par fours. Yep. And guarantee yourself birdie. Yeah, good shot. All right. It's Back a great time track. to hit that. A little high on the face, no spin. Yeah, no, it was good. Perfect time to hit it. 75 yards, dead downwind. Never needed a birdie more in my life than right now. That was picked nicely. Whew. All right. Oh, I needed that, dude. Good that time was... to do it. Wow. I think it's a tap in. Guys, I'm going to give Henry this. He, uh, it's literally like 12 inches, maybe less. Thank you. Mine's significantly closer, but I do, there is a pretty aggressive ridge right there. So I'm going to try to carry this almost all the way to the hole with some height and hopefully it kind of stops or. I mean, would be nice to see one go in on the channel. Oh, sit. Had no nip. That's that slow no nip that I was like talking about and I didn't quite carry it over it, but decent look at birdie here. All right, let's see the stones on the kid. I thought, I don't know. Did you think you missed it? Yeah. I mean, I thought after the hat, like the second half of the putt, I was like, I was afraid he's gonna miss low. That's a good answer to what just happened with Henry. He's back to one under, I am at three under onto a par three. All right, here we are, hole 14, straight down wind, 150 on the dot. I'm gonna hit a, just a nice pitching wedge, and this should be a, I, I love this number for this club. Great shot. I'm also hitting pitching wedge. It's gonna it's gonna be a full one for me. Oh. He just made it. Go. Oh, it's a little right. Wow, that thing's rolling. See, that's where I thought. Oh, right. yours disappeared too. No. No, I see it though. Hey listen, mine's better. I don't care what you say. What's that what'd you say? I just said I'm just better. <laughs> 10, 30 feet. I'm feeling pretty good. Uphill first half and then it kind of flattens out the second half, but trying to get a, just a feel for what it does. Oh, that's a great pot. Right at the last dist right at the last four feet, I was like, I actually might turn. All right, I'm playing this dead straight. I thought it was gonna turn right, so that kind of changes my read a little bit. It goes oh, right man. a little bit. It went right. Par par? What are we doing right now? I'm going to get my <laughs> towel and you're about to run into okay. me. I, you gotta stop. <laughs> On to hole number 15. We got four holes left and there's some fun ones. Driver in hand for me. I'm gonna try to just cut one off of that blue building. If it ends up a little bit right, it's really not too bad. There's, there's a lot of room over there, so. Just like that, Henry. <laughs> Dude. Dude, Tig, you are playing these holes so non-traditional. How the hell am I two down? Two iron, I want to keep it under the wind right at the 150, probably leave myself about 160 in. Yeah, good shot. That's a fairway ball. Thank you. Take that. 175. This hole's longer than I thought. I hit that two iron 240 and I still have 175. I thought 240 was going to leave me like 160. Got five iron in my hand. I'm gonna have to hit this good. Ooh, I think it's Oh yeah, good. it's great. I hit that really freaking good. My hair is not cooperating today. Hey, it might be time for a trim. What? It might be time for a trim. 112 to 120, probably 125, so just a low 50 degree right between those trees. Is that on your line? I don't know. I think just balloons straight up. All right, 24 feet for me for my birdie. Breaking a little to the right. This would be a, just an absolute dagger right here if I can get this one to drop. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, man, so many good putts today. Just a little more speed, just a little more oomph, and they're going in. Need it. Never needed it more. Oh, just wiggled off. That could have been wind. That really could have been wind. I didn't see a left break there. Yeah. I think it was partial wind, but that's two solid pars on this is the number one handicap hole on the course. So guys, we're pulling out our phone and making sure which way the wind's going, or you can just simply do this. And it looks like it's down and off the right. It's down and off the right. I'm gonna aim five wood just at those, just at the like left side of those bunkers and just see what happens. I'm gonna stay semi-aggressive here. That needs to sit. Soft, softly, softly, softly. All right, it's a good shot. I think it's on. Are we on? Are we dancing? That feels good to pull that off because it's kind of intimidating. You can't even say the word. If I hit driver really good, I'm flying the green and there's water over the green. The reason why I hit it on that other hole was because there was no water long, but turns out that didn't even matter. So I'm just hitting four iron. No way. Sit. Okay. Oh, that is horrible. <laughs> I don't think you were thinking about that little bunker. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> this is a, it's a pretty good number. It's kind of an awkward lie, but I mean, this is a really good 54 degree number at like 90%, 90, 95%. Oh, man. Oh, please. Go! Oh, it's going. It, trust me, it all releases to the pin there. Oh, it's a little short. I see it. All right. I'm jumping That's up. a great shot. Probably like 15 feet. All right, this is kind of a tricky little shot. I gotta pitch it onto this front edge and hopefully the slope carries it down there. All right, wow, I thought I made it. Nice that. shot. I it went in 30 feet somehow. And I don't know, it just feels like a must make. Oh, Henry, what a roll. I was like over in the background looking for gators and stuff and you're... Thank you. Uh, it would be very special to only be down two going into the next hole. Oh, man. Did you push it? No. It's kind of tough. They do have subtle little breaks. Here we go. Two holes left. That feels not good to not convert on that. Let's go birdie birdie finish, why not? It's a nice apartment over there. I wonder why they're called apartments when they're all built together. I mean, you, you have, I don't think you've missed the fairway. Today. I haven't missed a fairway, but I haven't always hit it in my fairway. That'll work, hen dog. Thank you, sir. That dog will hunt! 158, dead into the fan. It's at least a seven iron. I need, to, I need to do something special. We need to lock in here. Come on. That's uh, a little right. I spun it. I got steep. Yeah, short. short. I just got a little steep with it. Kind of when you get steep with it, the tents just shoot right up into the air and it's curtains from there. All right, 129 for me. I'm honestly thinking 145. I got a nine iron and I'm going kind of low, keeping it low as I possibly can just over those trees, trying to get it all the way back there. But. It's going right too. All right. I mean, I hit it far enough, I just blocked it a little bit. Pretty similar to the last hole, to be honest. Instead of it being downhill, it's uphill. Mm. Oh! Did that hit something and stay out right? <laughs> I'm not sure. I actually thought that was gonna curve in like that. All right, 42 feet for me, a big swinger from right to left. That's a terrific putt. Thanks. 
Good putt. I just knew there was one thing that was oh for certain, and I was not going to let it gosh, be short. Oh my gosh, dude. It almost tinked off, it went over the hole. Oh my gosh, if that missed, you had tr you had quad the distance coming back. Here we go, last hole, best hole. That is the best shot I've hit all day. I am loving the line that that's on. All right, I'm going right over that bunker. I need something. I need an eagle here. Good one. Ah, uh, it's pulled. Oh, it's kind of coming a little bit left on you. All right, I think it's okay. Yeah, it is. That's that's a great spot to be. So this is going to have to be the shot of my life. I'm going to need to leave it all out here. I mean, this has to be an absolutely flushed four iron to get it 220. Oh my goodness. Oh, I flushed it, but I just pulled it a touch. Henry, that's a great shot. That is a great golf shot. Thank you, sir. Solid. Would not would not do it over. That was a good shot. Gosh, 171, and it's straight down fan. I think I'm honestly going 65 shot. Kind of right in between Henry's ball and the pin. Or literally just go right at it. Oh my gosh. Yo. Needing it is an understatement because I could talk a lot of junk to get in that head if I make this putt. I don't think a two putt has any chance. So this has to drop. I mean, it's falling hard that way. The, it's against the wind. I'm gonna play it pretty far out left. I really think it's gonna take this hill hard. It's gonna flatten out at the end, especially with the wind coming this way. Let's go. Come on, Henry, do it. Why not? Why not? Why, Why not? not? Come on! Uh oh, oh take. my goodness! Oh, you know what? It's really good that that went in because when you have the mentality of two putts to win, I don't know. I don't know. I believe in miracles. I really do. That is absolutely incredible. You can't ask to finish any better than that right there. You know, I've been rooting for you all day, but I've never rooted for you less than right now. So. <laughs> I will say that. Gosh. Man, I really wanted to make that. Wow, what a finish. Henry shot three under, I shot four under. Shout out to Henry for coming on the channel. Dude, I mean, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. I, I mean, I, I would say that's some of the best golf on the channel this year, which just a solid round by both of us. I think we should do it again. I feel like that was a pretty... That was, that was competitive, match. dude. Yeah, oh my was. gosh. And to think about how many we both left out there. Like, guys, before we go, um, check out Henry's new app. He's gonna explain just a little bit about it. Um, it's linked in the top of the description, but uh, Draw Meets Fade, tell them what it is. Yeah, so Draw Meets Fade, guys, I created an app to connect golfers around the world. Draw Meets Fade, a little catchy name, but um, basically it's like a social media for golfers. If you guys would check it out, I would really appreciate it. and. You match with other golfers and whatnot, and um, maybe I'll match with you guys, and maybe we can play around together. So hopefully you guys download it. Thank you. Absolutely. So thanks for thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you next time. I got some bigger tournaments coming up, so stay tuned.